David, on behalf of Harvard Club, Harvard Alumni for Education, welcome to Seattle. We we're just wrapping up your talk at Town Hall, and we wanted to get some thoughts from you regarding your research, your thoughts on what your research means, and uh, generally talk a little bit about education and whether we're the same or whether we're different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, it was really fun to be here today, uh, and it's nice to hang out with um, people from Harvard afterwards. So um, I think that the big take home message of my work um, is that uh, mixture is in human nature and there's really no one who's pure. I think that it used to be the case that, for example, people thought that the last 500 years have been unusual times in human history when, for example, populations like West Africans, Europeans, and Native Americans came together to form the big mixed populations of Americas, like Latinos or African Americans. And prior to that, there wasn't mixed yet. And what we've seen from genetic studies and ancient DNA is that again and again, deeper and deeper in time, 2,000 years, 5,000 years, 10,000 years, 20, 50, 100,000 years, equally profound mixtures have happened again and again, and it's been mixtures all the way down. So I think that's the big mix, uh, big message, that nobody can trace their ancestry without mixture infinitely or deeply far back into the past. It's a very interesting concept because it's very different from the way we think of ourselves. And the Europeans are Europeans, and the Africans are Africans, the Asians are Asians. I have a specific question. I'm from Ecuador in South America, and your chapter seven talks about the first Americans, and tell us a little bit your theories as to who they were and, and, and where they came from. Sure, so Native Americans largely descend from a single common ancestral population um, that is a mixture deeper in time of a group of about two thirds population related to East Asians and about one third population related more deeply to Europeans. Um, and so that two thirds, one third mix gave rise to a mixed population that then radiated into the Americas at some point um, before 15,000 years ago to give rise to uh, almost all the ancestry of Native Americans to um, in Ecuador and North America. Um, and um, so that was a good thing. Last question, your work is dependent on this brand of technology, genetics, computers, etc. Your thoughts on these mail-in genetic testing and how accurate are they? Right, so um, I think that uh, it's an amazing technology, but you need to take it all with a grain of salt because these companies have an incentive to um, tell you interesting things, and so you're paying them money to tell you them interesting things. And they tell you things like the proportion of ancestry you have from archaic Neanderthals, um, which is really a number that's measured extremely badly, um, and people take a lot of interest in the proportion of Neanderthal ancestry, and in fact, the number is so badly measured as to be almost meaningless. Um, so this is an example of the unclear things that these uh, results can, 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 can convey. So I think you have to worry that uh, they're, they're telling you things that are not reliable. Like a particularly problematic example for me is uh, genetic testing in African American community, which is a community that's uh, lost a lot of its history, sort of through intentional cultural deprivation during slavery. And a lot of African Americans are really thirsty for knowledge about their deep past and have been sold a lot of snake oil by the genetic testing companies, telling them rather precise information about where people come from, which is not reliable. So I think that you should be careful about these results, but there's also a lot of powerful information. But it's hard for people buying these results to figure out what's the right, what's solid, and what's not. Well, thank you so much for your work. It's been very educational, and we look forward to hearing more uh, as you continue your research. Thank you.